Honeys! Welcome back, it's me, Jenny. Okay, guys, we're going to be doing the last video for our Halloween series. Um, we're going to be making some potion jars or bottles, um, depending how or what you're going to use. I'm using jars because jars are very easy to find and they're very inexpensive. Now, this project is going to be very simple. I'm going to keep it very simple and very easy to follow. Obviously, um, once you get the idea on how to do this, you can, you know, modify it in the way that you want your jars to look. But you guys know me. I like it easy. I like it quick. And that's all. So, products that we're using for this project. I'm... I don't know if you want you could do it you don't necessarily have to I painted my jar with this I love 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 this velvet gray paint I don't know where I got this from I thought I got it at Michaels but Michaels does not sell this brand I I want to say it's AC more but I'm not a hundred percent sure but anyway the color of this um, paint is called velvet gray It's absolutely gorgeous let me come up close so you can see see there velvet gray I love this paint not only is beautiful and awesome for Halloween it just gives like this really pretty like matted color on anything that you put on I just love it I also use this one for um, remember we did this project together we uh, we painted this uh, rooster I also used that velvet gray on this rooster and look how gorgeous it looks I just love it I love this paint so I'm using that I already did that in advance I already I just took a brush and I just brushed really quickly on to my jar I let it sit by the window for about half an hour and it was dry um, so that's what you're gonna do you don't have to necessarily paint your jar if you don't want to but if you want to give it a creepy look, I suggest that you do. You're going to need some goth. You're going to need some ribbon. You're going to need um, just things that you want to decorate your jar with. I, I like to use these um, used coffee filters. I love to save my coffee filters. As a matter of fact, I'm saving a few of these to do a Christmas banner using these coffee filters. So... Definitely do not throw away your filters. You can do so much with them. And they're such an like an easy project. All you gotta do is just rinse off the coffee, rinse off your filter, sit it by the window, let the, the sun dry it up, and then you'll get this beautiful, beautiful texture. And it's so awesome to use on any project. I love it. So we're gonna use one of my coffee filters. And then we're probably going to use some ribbon. We're probably going to use some twine. We're just going to use a, a whole bunch of different, you know, things. Um, I have my hot glue running in the corner of my little station. I have some laces over here. So let's get started, okay? I'm going to try to do two different kinds of jars with you, um, depending how long this video will take. So this is a sauce jar, one of those um, tostillos, tostitos you know, dipping sauce for chips. This is what this is. I also have another one here that I partially started painting. I did the top and then I didn't do the the, the jar because I wanted to show you. These are just a spaghetti jar, um, a a Fredo sauce spaghetti jar. You can use these as well. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even recommend you to peel this off. Just paint this along with the paint. It's gonna look fantastic. So you can really use any kind of jar that you want, guys. So I'm going to use this jar because I already have it painted and I kind of like the size of it and it's pretty cute. You can obviously put stuff in there if you want. Um, the way that I'm going to decorate this jar, you probably are not going to be able to open this jar to put anything in it. But you can always modify your decoration on your jar so that you'll be able to maybe put candies or, you know, whatever you want in the jar. So... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the front of the jar. Now, there's several ways of doing this. You can mod podge this jar to however you want. I mean, you can do so many things to this jar. It's not even funny. But again, I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it, you know, just 
to the bare minimum of any kind of work so I'm just gonna do that I have a bat here that I want to kind of maybe incorporate in my jar and I was thinking that I was gonna hot glue this bat onto the jar and then I thought wouldn't it be funny if I just maybe kind of like use twine to wrap around the bat so it can kind of look more creepy looking so we're gonna do that okay we're going to use some twine and we're going to wrap this bat around the twine and it's gonna give it a really creepy looking um look to it okay so i'm basically gonna um what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on the back of this um bat so i can just help myself and keep it on one area okay so just a little tap of glue remember this is not going to hold your back together fully but it's going to give you that great um at least stability to start yourself with okay so that's that for the bat very simple okay i have some twine here that i want to use i'm going to wrap this twine around this bat is going to look super super creepy and I love that. I love that look. So let's wrap the bat around this twine a few times, okay? So let's just say, for example, I don't know, maybe like three times. That's one. And that's two. And three. Okay, so I think that's. Three times should probably be significant, um, significant way of wrapping this. Okay, see already it's coming out so weird looking and creepy. Yeah, I think I did like three times. I think three times is perfect. So okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to. Here, let's cut this off a little bit. It's too long. I'm going to try my best to wrap this around one of these over here just to make sure that it doesn't really go undone. And then you're just going to make a knot, okay? You're just going to knot these two together just so that, it can, so that it can stay together. It can stay, you know, it doesn't go anywhere and it gives you some security. Now, if you want to go around your twine and you can just twine it around you can do that as well as if you want I'm leaving mine like that for now I'm just gonna trim off a little bit the excess and I'm just gonna leave it just like that see that already is coming out creepy Ooh, very creepy okay so that's done all right now what we're gonna do is I want to add some of these like DIY gauze that I did on one of my videos and I'm just gonna like sporadically add it around the the bat um, you could do this before or you can do this after obviously if you if you want to do it before you add the bat you can do that I don't mind doing it after to me it doesn't matter so I'm gonna add some hot glue now you can always change the hot glue for Mod Pod okay so that also is a fantastic way of of putting all these you know little projects together using Mod Podge, okay? But I don't have any at the moment, so I'm just going to hot to glue this baby down, and I don't mind actually using my hot glue for this, okay? So that's that. You want to put some more on the back? You can. not I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. I don't mind that the back, the back is like that because I'm going to have this facing this way. So I don't really mind that the back is all crazy looking like that. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, then definitely, you know, cover the whole jar with your um, gauze. Okay? So now, I... What I want to do is the top. I'm so excited to do the top with you guys. Now, I'm using one of these coffee filters that I showed you earlier on um, uh, how I saved them. We're going to use these coffee filter as the top of our jar. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically kind of shape this like around your jar. See that how it looks so creepy already? Shape it around your jar. 
so it looks sort of like a little cover and you're gonna wrap this around with either twine or ribbon whatever you have okay I'm gonna wrap it around some twine and I'm gonna actually use this one because I kind of like this orangey looking twine I'm really obsessed with this twine right now so you're gonna basically wrap this around your top now before you do that make sure you don't want to add any other extra fabric or lace or anything else to it before you wrap it around now I do want to add something else be before I you know wrap it around with the twine I have here a piece of this mesh that I want to add on top of my jar um, cover because I think that it's going to give it that really creepy look, okay? So I don't really need this much. So I'm going to basically eyeball it and maybe cut out a tab off. And then the extra fabric I'm going to use for the lid as well. So I'm going to add this really just simple. It's kind of like a, you can't really see there, but it's like a purplish color mesh right on top of my cover as you can see here so this is your cover and then this is the mesh that we're going to just add on top and then we're going to add to close it the twine okay so just basically go around your jar with your twine this is a good time if you have another hand that can help you it would be great <laughs> you might need some help because it's to get a little get a little bit um, challenging with one hand only but I will do my best to try to accomplish this so you're gonna go around your jar okay just like that and make sure you get around it and make sure that it's it's not like make sure that it's actually around the jar okay is what i'm trying to say you don't want this to be kind of halfway because then it's not going to really seal the jar completely okay so once you do that make yourself another knot in the back very tight one by the way okay And I think that would kind of make the look complete. Okay, it's gonna be difficult because I cut this a little too short, but that's okay. Okay, see that? And you should get something like this. Look at the, how cute that looks. Now this is a good time to go back and cut out all any other extras little fabrics like for example I have a little extra fabric here I will trim that off okay now my suggestion is try to use those scissors that have different kinds of shapes um, those are really good to use for this because it kind of gives your um, your mesh some pretty you know whimsical look to it um, but if you don't have it it's okay use your regular scissors no big deal there we go see that how cute that looks you can't really see the mesh because it's not that clear but it's there you can see it kind of like that okay very good so once we have that settled as you can see here our jar looks fabulous I love it okay once you have that settled you can keep adding things to it if you want, okay? This is basically almost done. Now, I have this little um, mesh or I don't know what you want to call this. This is a little, uh, it's, it's basically um, a fabric or a, not a fabric. It's a ribbon that I had and I cut the ribbon in half. I kind of like dyed it and um, I kind of like distressed it so it can kind of look old. So what I want to do is I want to actually wrap this around my lid this way so it can kind of look a little bit creepy and a little bit funky looking. Um, I don't care that this is being covered because I really, my intentions were not really to have this shown. My intentions is really to put this around the lid. 
So you can do that if you want. I want to do that. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can also place this maybe if you want down here. That would also be a nice, you know, idea. But I prefer to put this particular little uh, ribbon onto my lid. So I'm going to do that now. Obviously measure the size. Make sure that it will go around your jar or at least as round as you want it to go. Okay, and I'm going to hot glue it. Because again, I'm not gonna really go all the way around. I don't care about the back of my jar. It doesn't bother me that it's half done. I'm not, I, I don't really mind. Again, I'm not gonna show the back of my jar. So, and this is purely only for decoration purposes, so. It doesn't really matter to me that the back is not fully complete, but if it bothers you, then just complete it how you want it to look. Okay. A little bit of hot glue. Right over that. And there you have it. Okay. And that's how it looks. See how pretty that looks? It looks so really well worked. How awesome is that? I love it. Okay, awesome. Okay, good. So now, the only last thing I want to do is um, I want to add. Remember the little, the little um, piece of mesh that I cut out. I want to add this little mesh around my jar as well. Okay. Maybe somewhere like that, so it can get that little whimsy look to it. So right in the center of the jar, see that? Something like that. Let's put some hot glue. Okay, on this side. And then let's go around this way and put some hot glue on this side there you go and I left purposely these two little ends sticking out like that so it can kind of look messy and kind of creepy looking I did that on purpose in case you're wondering okay and I think that's basically it, guys. I mean, this is so simple to create. You can definitely bling this out however you want to. It is really up to you. I was thinking of maybe adding some of this um, pretty ribbon. So maybe we can try to do that. We can add a little, a little tiny ribbon around the jar lid and then I think we're basically done we can even put her around here if you want but I think the jar lid is better I like I like the jar lid look okay so let's do that now if you want I think I wanted to tie in the back not in the front so I'm gonna go like this and then I'm going to tie it in the back Make a nice knot, a nice tight knot. And I'm not even gonna cut the extra ribbon. I'm just gonna let it hang down. That also will look really pretty. Okay, and I'll just leave that hanging on the back. You can even do that in the front if you want. But I didn't want to do the front because I have this adorable little cute um, bat. And I didn't want to cover his face. So I left it hanging from the back. Which is okay as well. It looks really pretty actually from the back hanging. Okay. So this is our complete look to our really adorable whimsical Halloween jar i love that i love how it came out you see how simple with a few little items twine one of these plastically looking bats a jar that you can get from home some um 
coffee filters that we always have at home. If we make coffee, we always have this. A piece of ribbon, a piece of mesh, and there you have this really simple, cute, adorable jar. And you can definitely put this on top of your mantle, maybe on top of your kitchen table. You can make a few of these and you can actually even use these as like candy, like, um, well not candy, what do you call this? Um, candle holders maybe you can put three or four of these in the top of like in the kitchen and maybe put like candles on top with the little holders it's it's just really really cute and simple i love it okay and then the other one that i want to show you really quickly because i don't have that much time is another um diy little jar project now this is using an actual salt shaker i'm not using a jar but if you have a jar you can use it i don't have a smaller jar that has a lid this size so i had to use one of these salt shakers now keep in mind that i have liquid in here so i can't really show you exactly how it would look it'll just spill all over um but you can always cover this with um something so it doesn't spill i also inside what i did was i just added a few drops of red dye and some little bit of water and and that's basically giving you like that bloody look to it okay so what i want to add to this little jar is these fake teeth that i have that i bought um a few weeks ago um i got this while i was thrift shopping i thought it was a Good idea. So I want to cut this in half and I want to put the, the teeth inside the jar just to give it that creepy, creepy, creepy look. I don't know how easy this is going to be to cut. It should be easy because it's plastic. We'll see. Okay. There you go. See? That was not that hard at all. So I'm going to add these creepy teeth inside my jar. But I want it to look like that. Very good. And then I'm going to add this one in there like that. Very good. And that, I wish you can see, but that looks super creepy, guys. It looks so gross, actually. Okay, so I'm going to seal this. I'm going to close this, okay? And we're going to do the same concept we did with this this little jar over here. We're just basically going to bling it bling up a little bit and make it a little bit creepy. I'm not using paper. I'm not using um coffee filters for this one. I'm just basically using this regular brown bag, okay? I just cut up a little piece of brown bag and I'm basically just going to crumble it up okay making it look very crumbly and very old looking you can even if you want to give it that really really old look you can obviously um use some um some you can actually use some of this if you want if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic look um you can actually use some dye um and just very carefully just um go around it and give it that distressed look and it would actually work nicer okay so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to cover my jar lid with this okay i don't want it to be too big Probably this size is good enough. I'm just eyeballing it, okay? Okay, see? So you're just gonna basically cover it. Okay, and you're going to use some more of this leftover ribbon or twine. I think I wanna use this one, I like this color. And you're gonna wrap this around, okay? We're gonna do the same concept that we did with the, um, the bat jar okay same concept if you can go around twice that's even better can i go around twice on this one yes i can very good okay once you do that make sure you make a tremendous tremendous tight knot 
This is when another finger will help. I don't have one right now, so my finger will do. Double knot this. Okay, and you should get something like that. See that? Okay. Cut out the extra. Make it even. Okay. And now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to use some of this leftover gauze that I have, and I'm going to cover the top of my jar. Okay. So, very sporadically just cover the top of my jar and I'm just going to come down see that kind of covering the entire jar with it sort of kind of so let's put some hot glue over here so the gauze can adhere to that okay and let's do some hot glue on the opposite side right there right around here And again, you can use Mod Pod if you want. Um, that also will work as well. Okay. There you go. You want to secure the back? You could do that. Add a little bit of glue in the back. Just to give it a little bit of security so it doesn't go undone. Okay. And see that? You'll get something like this. Something really creepy like this. Now, if you want to go and you want to hot glue the leftover gauze, you can. I'm just going to trim it out because I don't really want it to go all the way down my jar. I kind of wanted it just to kind of cover my top or my lid. So I didn't want it to go completely down. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. So you could go back around and just secure your gauze. Make sure that it doesn't go anywhere okay make sure that it just stays around your jar top okay there you go see that and you should get something like this this is really cute see that you should get something like this love it okay that's beautiful so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off by putting a label in front of my jar. I have these labels from Michaels that I bought recently. I love these. Um, I'm just going to really pick any label. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to really show because I'm going to actually cover the front of my jar with another ribbon. But I do want to give it that pretty, you know, look to it so i'm just going to add this label right in front of my jar as you can see there and then the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add these little ribbons around my jar okay so it's going to come around my jar just like this i know it's going to kind of cover my actually maybe the other way like that yeah it's going to cover a little bit my label but that's okay, I, I, I actually want that look, okay? So I'm going to hot glue a little bit over here, okay? And then I'm gonna go on the opposite side, I'm gonna hot glue it on this end. Okay, just there, right? there oops it's my phone forgot to put in a vibrate okay there we go okay and then you should get something like this I love this little jar it's so creepy looking and I love these little these little fringes hanging out that just gives it more of a creepy look see that you're gonna get a creepy jar like this and you're basically done now you can add a little jewel if you want over here you can add whatever you want I'm going to add 
this leftover um this leftover what do you call it um gloss right in the front just to keep it that little creepy look and i'm done and i am done i want to keep it simple i didn't want to go crazy see done and that is my creepy jar. I love it. I wish you can see in the bottom the teeth, how creepy it looks, but it looks so freaking creepy. I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I try to keep this, let me see. Oh God, we're over 30 minutes. Wow. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, make sure you thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I love it how it came out. It's so freaking adorable i absolutely love it um you can always modify this and put like a nice little bling in the middle or whatever you want i hope you guys love this video make sure you thumbs up guys thank you so much for sticking up with me um and i am going to do maybe like a like a whole like a review on everything that we did together just as a final video so that you guys can you know, see all the wonderful DIY projects we did together, okay? So I'll do that shortly, guys. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, honeys. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.